have a good day. Is that Bebo meets Bebo? Yeah, hey, have a good day. I love you. I love you. Don't ever be that person. Always put your cart back. Unless you're physically not able to, then fine. But if you're able to, put it back. Also, this is what I look like. Welcome to the vlog. Good morning. Ew. So, I forgot to cancel HelloFresh. Dang it! So we have three more days of meals for the week. Which, you know, I ain't mad about. No. Oh my oh. gosh, my face. Oh my god, my face. Look at my nails. I was like, I'm gonna take a break. I've been getting my nails done regularly. Oh my god, there's zits everywhere. It's not good. My face is beautiful still. Hey. My nails! You're still beautiful and I love you. Look at these! My skin is so red. What is this? You have a bit. Oh, alright, hold on. It's a little bit better. My skin. You know how I feel about skin stuff. I and I have had nothing but issues since getting off birth control with my skin during this time of the month. I will say, probably should do a little update on my two months off birth control because it's coming up. I've been tracking my cycle with the app called Flow, not sponsored. I actually really like it. It's one you pay for, just letting you guys know, but it's the most accurate one. I know, like, you're dribbling on yourself. <laughs> I've been tracking, so my skin, whew, it's not as bad now. I can tell, like, looking at the camera, I'm like, yeah. I, I didn't put too much makeup on. It was just um, the CC cream and concealer and bronzer and blush and mascara. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put much on. I didn't put much on. I put everything I had. <laughs> um, I just can't. When my face looks like that, I, I look sick. I don't understand. I don't like it. So also I did this to my nails, which I'm just like instant regret. Why don't you take it? Because this of won't it? come off. I've had a full set on for over a year. What won't come off though? The acrylic. Yeah, I know. The nail itself, but why don't you just take the uh the polish, polish off? off? I might, because it's a gel polish. We have the acetone up there. It's not the same with gel polish, dear. It will eat gel polish. It eats paint, for God's sakes. Okay. It's a pretty, pretty chill day. John went to the gym. How are you feeling? I feel good. Went to the gym on my own. I no know. No trainer, no anything. No I got smudge on the front of that. Show us a flex. Doing some things. Flex. I don't even know if I could. Flex that arm. Which one? That one. Which one's that one? That one. Uh, ow. Getting back. It's yeah. big again. That's what she said. It's a pretty basic day. I got a lot of work done yesterday. John was gone all day yesterday, so yeah. I got. So I got a lot of work done because he was gone. Well, it's just we talk to each other through the day. Yeah. I don't know. It's just different. Yeah, I don't think you texted me for like four or five hours. Yeah, I was busy. Wasn't gonna argue with you. <sighs> what? Just feeling insecure. I see that. There's no reason. You're beautiful, and I love you. I do. Am I? You are. Always. Not the girl you asked to be your girlfriend eight years ago. Well, that one said no, so... It's true. <laughs> I did. No, no, I meant the one. Anyway. Oh, yeah. No, I did say no, and then I said yes. <laughs> I didn't like to be locked down. Labels freaked me out. Now look at me. Yeah. Mom. I had to chase you for a while, too, because you kept trying to leave me. I, I did try and leave you. I know. You wouldn't let me leave you. It's a little Joe from that movie that show you in a what? glass box. You haven't seen it. It's on Netflix. <laughs> I just didn't like having a boyfriend. Like, I wasn't, I did not like to have, like, I didn't like to be con my whole life. You know how I am. I don't like to be, like, in a box, literally. That sounds like you, but not you. You, the show. <laughs> People who watch the show will get it. I know. But you like, No, you were just very persistent and if you wouldn't have been persistent, we wouldn't have stayed together. I know. That's like why I never stayed with anybody cuz if like they weren't persistent, I was over it. You're my longest relationship ever. You're my longest relationship ever. By like a year. John's a relationship guy. Before me, what well, you had two like long-term girlfriends. Let's not go into this. Why not? That you That's did. Weird. It's I not know. weird. I had boyfriends before you. It's not like we met like at 15. You're 25. You're almost 25 when I met you. What I'm saying is you are my longest relationship. Mine too. And um, we're stuck. So. Hmm, not really. Yeah, I think so. 
All I have to say is happy anniversary. Thanks for locking me down. Yeah. Did you get me pregnant on purpose? No. Really? Because <laughs> you were such a catch. I had so much going for me. I was kidding. <laughs> I was a nanny. I was a hot young nanny. <laughs> I swear to God, I think my boss hired me because, like, so her husband wouldn't find me attractive. She was like, oh, I'll hire the fat girl. <laughs> the doctor will not want the fat girl. It was just your yellow card that did it for me. It was the yellow Aveo? Mm -hmm, definitely. Why did you Why did you want to date me so bad? What was it about me? Seriously, I want to know. I don't know. Like, you got to tell me something here. Like, why wouldn't you let me break up with you? Because I just knew I loved you, honestly. Did you really? Yes. Why? <laughs> what did you love about me? I just loved being around you. You were funny. Were. Just everything was light and easy around you. Like. Honey? Really? Yeah, from the first night. Everything was just easy. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything was just light and easy with you. Everybody's like, I want to hear your love story and I want to hear your story. It was not, it was a messy one, but I'm glad that you didn't let me go. Yeah. I was very persistent. I had to fight for you. You really had to fight for me. I know. Why? Look at me. I Did know. you see my face? Uh, oh, know. honey, I'm sorry. I thought we could just go live in a swamp together. Hey, friends. Mm -hmm. I'm with my girl. Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. I miss you. It's been only like two weeks, <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> And we'll be next week. <laughs> so John earlier, it's so funny because <laughs> um, before I left the house, like earlier today, I told him, I was like, oh, Caitlin, and everybody's going out. And he's like, you should go up there. And I was like, no, we'll hang out. We'll eat tacos. You know what I mean? And then Scylla called me and was like, hey, you better come. And I was like, all right. And John's like, yeah, you should go. So I think us being together every single solitary day for the last, don't look at my nails, Becca. It's bad. <laughs> I have half of acrylic on here. I look like I've done some things. Hi, Brazy Bunch. Hi. What's up? Oh, I'm I'm creeping up on your TikTok views, son. Yeah. I got a fresh 30k yesterday on my chicken nugget video. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. I'm famous. And I got like 100 followers. Like, what's that about? You know, you like it, but you won't like follow me. Yeah. Follow me on TikTok. But I'm here. John basically pushed me out the door, and I'm super excited. We're gonna tear up the town. Woo. Becca's here too. Hey. I'll leave Becca's chair up somewhere. Up here. And, um, Scylla, you're almost ready? Yeah, why? I'm just, you know, making vlog content. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> Are you almost ready? Are you yet? almost ready yet? We got the crew. Ayo. Yak normal. Remember, I was like, laugh. Caitlin's like, ha oh. <laughs> Girl tribe! Yay! Yay! Our favorite girl! And John. And John. <laughs> I think I said I love you. I don't know how that got all weird for me. I was like, love you! Ab, we're home. So that's Clinton. Do you want to close out the vlog? Mm -hmm. Shh, see you in the morning. Close out the vlog. Boop. Thanks, um, love you. I missed you. I missed you. I know, it's like a little girl's morning. I went to Bagel Love, which if you guys don't know, I talk about it every time I come up to Jack's. It's safe, I, we love it. It's like our favorite place, so. Well, Summer has eaten there, and she lived in New York, and she's like, these bagels are amazing. They're the best bagels I've ever had in my life, so every single time I come up here, I don't care how long I'm here, I have to eat Bagel Love. <laughs> so I got bagels for the kiddos and for everybody, and we're just gonna slam some food down, and then, you know. Hang for a bit before I go home. Yeah. So if you want to watch a mukbang, go to. I'm just kidding. Oh, that she loves the counter, mom. Oh, no Look at her. Okay. <laughs> She's so crazy. Look at this sandwich. I feel like this is like a lot about the sandwich, but I don't think people truly understand. If you don't come to Jacksonville and go to Bagel Love, you're, there's <laughs> something wrong with you. It's so good. I miss teenager. Sleeping in till the afternoon. <laughs> Abby. Still morning. Still morning. You're still there. 
Do you want a bagel? Mm. I brought you bagels. You want me to come with you? Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's go. You want me to sit? All right. Do you not like bagel love, Ab? I totally get it. Totally. I really like that shirt. Is that a Teespring thing? Uh, yeah. uh Store Envy? No, it's not available. Oh, you didn't? Oh, it's cute though. I just um, made another one. I don't know. Um, that'll be just a secret because it'll be released. Oh, a secret? Ooh, secret shirts. We love secret shirts for us. Look at this nail. Oh my gosh, Abby, you see this? It's not cute. Oh, I'm recording this now because this is full. They're making fun of the fact that I wear robes, so we're gonna start a conversation. Hey, do you guys? Do you guys wear robes in the house underneath with like actual clothes underneath? She's got regular clothes on. Just she wears it like a blanket. It's like. It's like a snuggie. You guys are the weird ones here. It's like a low like budget a snuggie. snuggie. It's it's not a snuggie. It's, it's a like robe. You, it's like you wanted a snuggie, but you went to like Bed Bath and Beyond instead. I feel like wearing a jacket, but I'm not committed to socializing <laughs> with the general public today, so robe it is. Thank you. That's it. That's the spirit. I don't understand why that's hard to understand. I didn't know if it was like a TikTok like. No, it's a it's a life. Thing. It's uniform. it's every it's my everyday <laughs> uniform. It's time to make a TikTok, bro. Oh boy. They're rude. Let me know down below if you guys wear robes. I want to hear about it because I know it's not weird. I know it's no, not weird. Not any context. Do you yeah. wear a robe over your normal everyday clothes? That's the question. Right, like not like get, like out of the shower. I can see people wearing robes. Like if you're lounging in your room or something. People wear robes. Over their clothes. Like, what was the Playboy? Hugh Hefner wore robes. Hey, thank you. I mean, am I supposed to be he offended? He has his pajamas on underneath it. And he has just because I have, just because I have ten-year-old pants that I've had for five hundred <laughs> years and a torn T-shirt and no bra doesn't mean that I am not Hugh Hefner and I don't deserve to wear a robe when I feel like it. So it's okay, Lauren. I fully embrace the man yoga pants. Look. Yeah. So he's like, I gotta get comfy. That's what, that's what Priscilla calls these now are my man yoga pants when I wear The shoes. second we got home last night, you're like, I gotta put my comfy clothes on. I had jeans on until I went to bed last night. So who's winning? So you couldn't find the robe. No, I, I had no bra on. I did a blanket. <laughs> you look like a punk making a TikTok. John's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I have to make this TikTok before I don't learn the dance anymore. Blanket around my shoulders. <laughs> I don't think I have a thick white robe. <laughs> Come on. Is this a robe? Yep. <laughs> you have multiple robes. What? Ab, fix yourself. Bye, Abby. Love you. I'm going to be gone when you get back. You look so rough. Tell so it. Yep. You mean gone when you get back? Yeah. yeah. Is that a shirt? Huh? Is that a shirt? Oh, I like that shirt. That's you donated nice shirt, blood? Right? For donating blood? blood? The t-shirt is nice too. I Good for you. Earlier in the year. Let me fill it. It looks soft. One blood. Uh, it's a one nice blood. shirt though. The first, one, the first time I did it, they did the double red. So they like take out your blood and then they put the plasma back. Like they only want your red blood cells. And then this time they're like, oh yeah, we can't do that. Like that's not okay at all. And I was like, well, you need to talk to them because they took it all. And I was exhausted. I'm glad you did that. I like that one nice side. I'm gonna make one of those. You're a good, you're a good young man. I'm Proud of you. <laughs> I can't with you. Also, I'm skipping class. No, I'm not. I'm joking. I just skipped the TA. What, what? What's your blood type? That's why they uh, thought you were boring. Mom has. Uh, what do you have? O negative. You have O negative blood. I do. No, I really? Don't. She's rare. You're super rare. I am. So if you guys are O negative, you Wait, should donate in case somebody negative. needs yeah. it. Priscilla has leggings on and she just doesn't even know how to function with leggings. She's not a leggings person. I'm so proud. That's my everyday. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> throw a blanket over you right now and there you got it. It's a robe. This is what I deal with. Bothering autism exposed. I found my title. Oh got new goals. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, I had fun last night. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming. I had the best time. Love you. I love you.
Have fun in your leggings today. Don't take them off. All right. I'm going to... Oh, I know what I'm Amazoning you. Oh. Um, Bye, Lauren. Bye, Asa. Thanks for coming. Um, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need my shirt. Is this like a, oh, yeah. we'll see you soon, wink, wink, what could it be? Or is this kind like of. a, do they know? Uh, they don't know. Wink, wink, we'll wink, wink. We'll see you soon. Oh, Love you, buddy. Uh, she's fun. a large, a child's large. Hey. Large child. She's a large child. Give me a kiss. Love you. You smell good. Your hair smells nice. I'm home. Thank God. Dying. I just tapped him out with L. My girl didn't sleep good last night without her mama. Hey, can you come give mommy hugs and kisses? I'm home. Can I have a hug? I'm telling you, she's... She's on one. Can I have a hug? She did. I love you. She had one of the old school She's knuckles. holding her Pop-Tart with her toe. She had one of the old school... I see that. She had one of the old school knuckles. She's too tired. Yeah. She didn't like sleep a, good the night before either. An hour long. You know what's funny? It's like this whole trip was totally unplanned. Like Priscilla yeah. literally called me at two and I was like, I don't want a fifth wheel. Like, cause John and I were originally going to go together, but we had no sitter. My dad's out of town and I just, we weren't going to go. You said earlier in the day, which was funny. You're like, you should really like, you should go up there and do that. I'm like, eh, yeah. I don't know. It's not a far drive from us at all. I was like, I don't feel like it. Priscilla called me. That woman is the most persistent, like not even persistent. What's that word called? persuasive mm -hmm. that's the word person on the planet she's like yeah we're gonna go like on the town I'm like I've never been on the town in Jacksonville and as you guys know it's on our list of someday living in that area and I was like I'll check it out I had the best time good talks good friends but we missed John but John was kind of pushing me out the door <laughs> I think you were just ready like we've been with each other every single day yeah. for a month <laughs> so you were missed and it would have been so much better if you were there. But it was nice for me to like have a little mom break, especially because the night before last, even, poor guy, I feel bad. I think it was worse for you. The night before, it was in the morning yesterday, I was like, oh, you're, you got night duty tonight because like Ella had a rough night. He, she had another rough night of sleep, which is a stinker. I'm sorry. It's all good. I do appreciate you letting me go have a good time with my girls. It was really nice. I feel a little bit recharged. So I do appreciate it. No problem. And we're going to enjoy this last weekend before the crazy starts. So we will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. We love you so much. <laughs> it's amazing that I let myself go on the internet looking the way I do. Also, can you believe the judgmental Priscilla and Asa? They make fun of, they don't think robes are normal. Having a robe is normal, I right? Don't have a robe. I know you don't have a robe, but like wearing a robe isn't weird, right? Okay, as earlier I said, let me know down below. Robes are not weird. Please tell me I'm not the only one who likes to be cozy all the time. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, friends.